Hi, my name is Sahali. Hi, my name is Hiba Altaf and my fellow teammate Anna Atif. And we're studying in pristine private school from year 9D. So we have recognized that the problem with natural disasters is that they are devastating and there are limited solutions for minimizing the impact and aftermath of it. This is why we've developed an innovative solution to support communities before, during and after natural disasters. We've created a NanoGuard. It's a tiny robotic device at nanoscale or one billionth of a meter, engineered to complete precise tasks even in the smallest, hardest to reach places. Nanobots are unique because of their small size, which allow them to be used in ways that larger robots cannot. So our design, the NanoGuard line, includes versions uniquely designed to respond to specific disasters. So imagine a tsunami response nanobot. These tiny devices monitor sea levels in real time using mini sensors and altimeters to measure water pressure and altitude, offering early warnings for potential tsunamis. These nanobots switch to purification mode, treating contaminated water by detecting harmful substances with the process of chlorination. During a doubt, the NanoGuard provides ongoing mo monitoring of the soil moisture and atmospheric temperature, while also diffusing essential nutrients into the soil based on real-time data to support agriculture even in water-scarce conditions. Our NanoGuard scans affected areas to pinpoint zones at risk from pyroclastic flow and lahars. It's equipped with specialized seismic sensors and tracks ground motion in three dimensions to detect both and predict volcanic activity. These seismic sensors suspended with springs are designed to capture ground shifts. For earthquakes, the NanoGuard sensors will detect tremors and potential aftershocks, providing life updates on seismic activity to assist emergency teams in assessing the affected areas. Thank you for listening, and in conclusion, our NanoBot system gathers and analyzes critical data in real time enabling communities to prioritize the safety and well-being of those in high-risk areas.